Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. Uh, if you do have any scuba diving questions, by all means pop it down in the comment section underneath this video uh, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Um, and if it's interesting enough, I might even turn it into a video. Um, and the community as well, they like to answer questions, which is awesome of them. Well done everybody. Um, today I'm answering a question from, I'm going to say Stewie. Um, it's Stewie spelt with a seven, uh, about wireless air transmission. So Stewie says, hi Mark, AI transmitter versus SPG and should you carry both? My first thought was yes, carry SPG as a backup, but I've recently seen a lot of good arguments against that mindset. For one, it's a second failure point and if either the dive computer or the SPG fails, you'll end the dive anyway. Transmitters are also more accurate and you'll know right away if there's a problem, whereas the SPG, you might not. Um, yeah, uh, I'm always an advocate personally for redundancy. And if you carry the minimum failure point mindset, then you're never gonna get in the water anyway. But personally, I dive with a traditional SPG and a transmitter as well. Uh, as you say, you get the both. No, you get the best of both worlds. The analog gauge can never run out of battery, and they're very reliable. Transmitters are more accurate. They give you more information, such as gas time remaining, and they have automated, like low pressure alarms as well, that can alert you to issues if you've got a slow leak behind your head that you or your buddy hasn't noticed and for whatever reason you're not paying attention to your spg and watching that needle drop your computer should um alert you to that fact and you're oh actually i've got a lot less gas than i thought i did um instead of just you know oh let me check how much gas i've got oh that's a lot less uh, it will alert you uh, as long as you set that up obviously Diving with both just means that you're you're covered and you have the most tools available to you in the water. Um, I do get the, the extra failure points and oh, if your dive computer dies, um, then you're going to end the um, you're going to end the dive. I, I do get all of that, but it would never prevent me from bringing something like a wireless air transmitter with me on a dive. Um, it's a bit pessimistic. Is, is that the right word? Uh, it, I, I don't really sort of fall into that. I do accept that, yes, it is an extra failure point, And yes, if it does die, then yeah, yeah I'm going to end the dive. But hey, diving, diving should be fun. And, and we've got all of these amazing tools. We've got wireless air transmitters and, um, and submersible pressure gauges and things. And if you can have that wireless air transmitter talking to your dive computer and like after the dive you can analyze it it will spit out your um uh, your sack rates and your breathing rates and all that kind of stuff so you can look back and you can think oh okay yeah there is such and such and you can compare it to previous dives and see if your air consumption is improving or not um whereas if you don't take it then you, you can work it out yourself but it's, it's a lot of like writing down and working things out and timing things um whereas the transmitter will just do it all for you uh so yeah i tend to dive with a wireless air, a wireless air transmitter and a traditional spg a um like a brass and glass spg and i i do find myself still checking my uh, my SPG just because it's like muscle memory um, but I also have like my dive computer and it's set up with yeah, uh, gas time remaining how much gas uh, I have left in, in minutes so um, yeah I, I prefer to just bring both um, yes it is extra failure points but gosh truth you got to draw the line somewhere and you can't minimize it that much um, if you're doing like extreme like cave diving overhead environments and, and all that kind of stuff and you really do need to minimize as many failure points as possible sure but if it's a 20 meter dive in blue water in the middle of summer uh, you're looking at some pretty coral and reef fish uh, there's really no problem bringing a, a wireless air transmitter um, so yeah I'm, I'm not too fussed about them yeah, in my opinion, uh, Brigham, I know a guy who, uh, who used to work for, um, uh, for one of the manufacturers and still does. And, um, and he didn't bring uh, SPG 
uh, with him on, on a dive. He just brought a wireless air transmitter and that made his whole regulator set a lot lighter. And yeah, as long as you check the battery frequently, um, then um, yeah, some, some divers don't even dive with an SPG. They just know their breathing rate and, uh, and they've already calculated how quickly their, um, their gas is gonna last. So they eliminate all of it altogether. Um, so now nah, it's just a matter of the, the dive at hand, basically. Bring, bring the tools that are, um, are relevant to you. And um, yeah, if you've got a transmitter, then, um, then use it, um, especially on like recreational dives. If you are doing some yeah, crazy uh, exploration dive into like really ridiculous depths or, um, or overhead environments where if a single O-ring goes, then something terrible is gonna happen, then yeah, maybe think twice about which uh, combination you bring. But for most divers, yeah, a transmitter isn't going to be like the end of the world. Um, so personally, I tend to bring both. For any other questions, uh, by all means, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video. Use the uh, the AskMark hashtag either at the beginning or the end. It doesn't really matter. Um, but as long as it's somewhere in your comment, highlights it behind the scenes for me to see it. Uh, and then I'll answer it as soon as I can. And uh, and yeah, if it's interesting enough, I'll, uh, I'll turn it into a, uh, a video like this one. Uh, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out the awesome things that we do over there, news, reviews, all that kind of stuff, uh, as well as subscribe to the channel here for more content. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.